Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And today I wanna to do a short video for you about something that has been on my mind now for a little while. And as we know, we've got all this crazy movement happening in the automotive circles, especially the performance uh, automotive market uh, in terms of going to EV, going to hybrid. We know what's going on out there, right? But uh, there are some vehicles that I think Dodge uh, or Ram, possibly just Mopar in general, really, uh, what they should maybe come out with that could really touch a either a new segment or a segment they kind of just left in the dust. Three different vehicles I want to talk about today uh, that I think they should figure out a way to come out with, and they would be really, really cool. If you guys are brand new to my channel, please do me a big, gigantic favor. Please hit subscribe. You can find that right down there in the corner, and off we go. So as we already know, just a couple of weeks ago, Dodge announced that later this summer, they're going to be coming out with their sort of new compact uh, Dodge Hornet, which I was kind of excited about to some degree. We don't really know exactly what it's going to look like, but we do have a pretty good idea. It's really supposed to mimic what's already out there from Alfa Romeo. As we know, Stellantis is also uh, the parent company of Alfa Romeo. But um, there is another segment that I do want to talk about that I would love to see Dodge get into. Actually, it's not Dodge. It's actually Ram this time. So uh, we already know that they have a ton of success with their 1500. Of course, we know they have the TRX, which I absolutely love. But of course, their 1500s have been a huge seller for them for quite some time. And uh, a little while back, they had some other trucks out there that were pretty darn cool, at least in my estimation. And one of my favorites was the SRT10 Viper truck. I thought that thing was very unique and very cool. It spun the rear tires pretty readily, a big old huge fire breathing V10 under the hood of that thing. And it was a single cab pickup truck. And we've seen other companies out there do sort of, uh, you know, the same thing, follow that mold. We knew that the, uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning was out there. Also another very successful truck that was a lot of fun. We saw a lot of people mod those. And I do feel like if, uh, if Dodge could somehow step back into making a small kind of single cab pickup truck that's maybe just a little bit lighter with a really solid power plant, I feel like that would be a really neat vehicle. I feel like they could make it really neat looking with some of the upgrades they've done to the front ends on these. I'm not saying necessarily put a Hellcat in it. I don't think that's going to happen, but they could put a pretty robust power plant in this and it doesn't necessarily have to be electric. Uh, maybe it's a hybrid. Maybe it's something that produces just really solid power, but I would love to see Dodge get back into the single cab market and uh, make a truck that is really cool, big old fat tires in the back and something that just looks really unique. Um, I feel like there's a huge market out there for that kind of vehicle and I think it would be a huge success. Now the next one I want to talk about may catch some folks off guard but I do feel like there is a pretty solid market out there for this and also um, you know when's the last time we saw something cool come out from Chrysler? Um, my gut feeling is that Chrysler is probably going to go away as a brand now obviously under the Stellantis umbrella um, they only have two offerings right they've got basically uh, the minivan and the 300 and they it may end up phasing both of those two out especially with all the electric stuff and the hybrid stuff coming down the pipe but how cool would it be to see something so small, something darty, and uh, something just kind of fun to drive, maybe even in a manual. Uh, we know those are going away as well, but with a Chrysler badge on it. Uh, way back in the day, we saw the Chrysler, uh, the Crossfire is what it was. Small, darty, kind of fun. And a lot of times when we talk about Mopar in general, that we're talking about stuff that's usually pretty heavy. So why couldn't we come up with something that is, you know, just very darty, very small, very light, and I'm not talking about the Hornet. That's gonna be more of a, you know, everyday type vehicle for the masses. I'm talking about something uh, with a little bit of flair, some performance capability, something just very light, something that looks a little bit new age and pretty cool, and I wanna see a Chrysler badge on it. I think that would be a fantastic vehicle and uh, put maybe a new age power plant in it, something that's fun to tune on, and I feel like that could maybe re, uh, kind of resuscitate uh, Chrysler, so to speak. Now, this last one is one that perhaps those of you that know me and know my channel, uh, you probably could have picked this one, but uh, I definitely want to see Dodge come out with a new Viper. Yeah, I, I absolutely have always loved Vipers since I was a little kid. Uh, what a menacing looking car. I feel like it was just such a neat car. Now, it wasn't always the best car to drive, but in terms of how it looked, I've always loved Dodge Vipers all the way back from the Gen 1. Of course, we saw five generations of Viper. We saw them come, we saw them go, and now, of course, they phased the, uh, the Viper out completely. But, you know, the sky is the limit on a Viper to me. And I'm not talking about something with some, you know, little power plant or 
you know, something weird. You know, we're still going to be liking this. We have the EV muscles coming out. And uh, I, I just want to see something that may be a little bit more track focused. Dodge really doesn't have anything right now that is track focused. Uh, we see stuff like the, the one LE package from Chevy. We have Fords like 350R. I mean, they do have track type packages, even on the, uh, the GT500. Uh, you know, they've got track packs on those. But from uh, Dodge and Mopar, you just don't really get much at all for the track warrior, except for in a straight line. And yes, I realize they are heavy, but why could we not come out with a new Viper that is perhaps mid-engine? Uh, you know, obviously Chevy's doing this with their brand new, uh, brand new Z06, 670 naturally aspirated horsepower. And uh, there's no reason we couldn't put uh, something in there. It doesn't necessarily have to be a huge fire-breathing V10. I would love to see a hybrid V8 uh, in, in that, that that just still rumbles, still sounds good, that is located in the rear this time with a little bit of a redesign. I think a, a brand new Dodge Viper, big old wheels in the back still. You don't have to go too far away from your roots. You could still make it cool. And then all of a sudden we have this new flagship car out there that kind of resets all of the boundaries for uh, what an ICE engine or even a hybrid engine can do. And I just think we are really lacking that big bad daddy you know we do have the hellcats and the demons and the red eyes and all that of the world we want something lighter and more track focused that still looks absolutely amazing kind of like the acr viper the gen 5 that i love so much uh, we got to get this out there so dodge please come out with a new viper i absolutely need to see it so there you have it. Basically a new single cab uh, pickup truck that's got a lot of performance, big old wide tires and a really menacing look. And uh, maybe one of the newer power plants they're gonna come out with that makes really good solid power, but not necessarily an EV. Uh, also, I would love to see something new from Chrysler come down the pipe, something small, something darty, something fun for the performance enthusiasts out there that maybe won't break the bank. And then of course, we have got to have a brand new Dodge Viper and reset the standard, kind of put that new uh, benchmark car out there, something uh, that Mopar can hang their hat on and say, man, look at, we did this. I would love to see them come back to the Viper again. So those are my thoughts on the three vehicles that they're really missing out on. I don't necessarily think uh, Slantis and Mopar and all those folks are gonna listen to me, but uh, you know what? We can all wish. So let me know what you guys think about these things in the comments down below, and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.